Some of the most scenic volcanoes within the United States are not very well known, owing to many of them being located on remote islands in the Aleutian island chain. One of these scenic and highly active volcanoes is known as Kanaga, which has produced picturesque globes of andesite lava. Two such groups of viscous lava flows slowly advanced down the towering stratovolcano during distinct events in both 1906 and 1994. However, what makes the Kanaga volcano most interesting is the prominent scarp in the landscape which borders it to the south. This scarp represents the remains of an even taller volcano which existed before Kanaga began to form that largely collapsed into the sea. The Kanaga volcano is located in the central Aleutian island chain where it is 23 miles west of the city of Adak. To the west is the Bobro volcano, while to the east is the Moffat volcano. All three of these volcanoes could potentially affect the city of Adak and exist due to the collision of two tectonic plates to the south. There, the Pacific Plate is subducting underneath the North American Plate. The melted material from this collision then migrates upwards until it erupts onto the surface, forming a chain of volcanoes. The Kanaga Volcano is an unusually young volcano, most likely completely forming in the last 15,000 years. However, it was preceded by not one, but two other volcanoes. The first volcano to form was a small-sized basaltic stratovolcano known as Round Head, whose deeply eroded remains can be found to the east of Kanaga. It erupted abundant basaltic lava, much of which was rich in the gemstone peridot. Volcanic activity later moved to the west, beginning to build a grey-colored volcanic cone out of andesite lava. This volcano produced intermittent explosive eruptions, resulting in overlapping layers of lava and ash. After tens of thousands of years of eruptive activity, the Canaton volcano had grown to a height of 5,300 feet. Then, something unusual began occurring on its southeastern flank. Large cryptodomes intrude underneath the mountain at shallow depths, which uplifted the entire mountain, further destabilizing it. This uplift eventually reached a critical point where a large volcanic eruption was triggered and the volcano rapidly collapsed to the north. 25 cubic kilometers of rock rapidly slid into the ocean, depositing large blocks of material up to 23 miles or 37 kilometers distant. It is only in this aftermath that the Kanaga volcano began to form. Currently, it is debated exactly how old this caldera forming event and landslide is. Various papers place the age of the collapse at between 3,000 and 184,000 years ago. For this video, I am assuming that a date of 13,000 years represents the best fit. Thus, the 4,288-foot-tall Kanaga volcano has completely formed since then. During this time span, it has erupted at least 21 times. Several early eruptions produced andesite lava domes which are now situated within Kanaga's caldera lake. These domes represent the aftermath of the original cryptodome magma which triggered the original summit collapse as some of this material erupted onto the surface. However, the majority of Kanaga's eruptions were volcanian or subplanian in nature, producing tall plumes of ash and depositing large quantities of lava on its flank. These cone-building eruptions were occasionally a bit more explosive, reaching plinian in status. However, Kanaga also produced almost completely non-explosive eruptions. These eruptions occasionally sent various 50 to 100 foot tall lobes of lava down Kanaga's summit in every direction. These lava flows were of a basaltic andesite or andesitic composition. One notable lobe formed in 1906 whose outline is shown on the screen. Since 1942, Kanaga has erupted five times, the last of which occurred in 2012. Its recent eruptions have been effusive, phreatic, or volcanian, representing the lower end of the volcano's overall explosive capacity. Although it could produce a future eruption with wide-reaching effects, it is most likely to only occasionally dust the town of Adak with ash and disrupt regional air traffic. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron T. Parish for supporting this channel.